Now this is the LEGO Mindstorms Droid Developer Kit that I had got from a friend of mine a couple weeks ago. Now I put the R2-D2 together and built it according to those instructions and I also got the Microscope processor for the middle off of Bricklink because he did not have the Microscout in the set when he gave it to me so he couldn't quite find it. So without further ado this is basically what it looks like. It's all technique construction and we'll just turn him around right there we'll turn him on it says L-E-G-O and it's set to let's see if uh, yeah let's leave it at 2 and we'll hit run and see what he does now here's a quick demo of what it can do. Now I've come out here to set him up and we're going to go to um, program one and we're going to go through them. So here's program one. It was okay. Not as interesting as I thought it would be on program one. We'll go up to program two now. Okay, that was program two. Let's go for program three. Ran into a big droid, and there's a bigger droid coming. Program 3 is much longer, however, oh, he's still going. And he wants to run into the can. Hmm. Now maybe this one does have some kind of light activation on it. I'm not sure. Because he is continuing, continuing to run. So let's just stop three and we'll go up to program four. Now I know program four. Ah, uh, bring him near the light. And his wheel starts moving. So, take away the light from the sensor. Covering over the light sensor. Letting the light on. So that's pretty neat. And then program five.
Program 5 and up is basically the um, Program 5 and up is basically all your other programs. So you have four pre-programs in the R2 unit itself. So that's pretty neat. Now you can also program this for yourself using the CD that came with it if you still have Windows 95 or 98. Now I do not have that. I only have um, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and I believe on another computer we have 10. So anyway, um, after Vista it gets all kind of stupid anyway and it becomes very hard to use anything. So um, if it, I can load it on my XP machine, it may work. Anyway, I'm happy with it just as the demo here and you know we can keep it at that we really don't have to upload anything but apparently you can do different things with it so that when you shine a light at the sensor it can trigger it on and off and all that kind of things and get them to move which would be kind of cool but anyway we'll see about that down the road thanks for watching the Mindstorms Droid Developer Kit review and if you like the video please comment like and subscribe down below and let's get some more great videos going and build this channel up until next time, I'm Freddy from Two Loose Bricks, and remember, if you can dream it, you can build it. I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you many more great reviews, mocks, hauls, builds, tutorials, and other wonderful videos.